Reaction, baking soda and vinegar. Here we go. Quarter cup vinegar. This is regular household vinegar. Ooh, look, a white squirrel. See it right there? It's not an albino. It's a it's a different uh just a different color. So I'm gonna put a quarter cup of vinegar in here. Which is just regular kitchen vinegar. Let's see what the temperature is of this stuff. Some of the other supplies we have here, I have a birthday candle and a lighter. Be sure you use adult supervision if you are going to use a lighter or a match. Luckily I'm an adult, so I'm going to supervise myself. Alright, temperature is 19.5 degrees Celsius. They say this is an endothermic reaction, so the temperature should drop. Here we go. temperature is dropping. I could record this temperature every 15 seconds, every 30 seconds, or I could just record the lowest point that it reaches. That part's really up to me. Okay, now the question is, were new substances formed? Well, I hear some fizzing, I see some bubbles, but let's go ahead and find out. So we're going to light this birthday candle. What does the candle need? It needs oxygen. Well, if this produced carbon dioxide, this candle is going to go out. So let's see. Wow. Lo and behold. Endothermic reaction. New substances were formed.